you were sticking around for pretty much all of this year of 2024, you would realize that we've posted a ton of content, which was me trying to just produce as much as I could and trying to make this feel like a full-time thing. Although it's not a full-time thing and all of us have jobs that are outside of the filmmaking world that we work full-time, but we still just come together to make the content that you guys enjoy and that we enjoy making. And so with that being said, this film is one of the final films that we shot during our really busy year of production. So with all that being said, I'm going to take you through how we made our short film, The Tall Man. This film feels as classic as Buried Hatcher Productions really gets, focusing on an old item and old photos, and it really took me back making this film and pretty much felt like a slideshow sequel. Using the same projector, the same concept of old photos, it was really fun to do this, and it honestly brought back some nostalgia of the earlier films we used to make with just the skeleton crew of me and Frank. With this film, I wanted to channel some of that earlier energy that we used to have making films and really focus on those elements of a curse or a cursed object, and that was really what I wanted to go for for this film. I'd say casting was one of the most important things for this film, and we actually got an actual circus performer for this, and his name is Hayden Downs, who did just an amazing job. I believe he's been on stilts for about two years now practicing with them and he's really talented. He really knows how to make his way around with them and it was honestly just really cool to have this actual tall man effect. I've had this idea stored in the back of my head for a while of a history professor researching who the tallest person in the world was and it wasn't until when I went to this haunted fair and I saw Hayden in his costume and he was actually in a clown costume. But uh, I saw him in this costume on the stilts and it struck me as a possibility since he was local and it might be something I actually get to make. I guess this film is somewhat of a tribute to the actual tallest person in the world, which is Robert Wadlow. And uh, I tried to base a lot of this information off his life and certain statistics like his height are pretty much exactly what he was. And I wanted to obviously create my own character for this and base it off the actual tallest man in history. Overall, this shoot was pretty straightforward. We had a really cool moment where the curse starts to come upon this character and the windows start to get rain in them. And if this was a normal house, it'd be less interesting. But I find it really interesting because this is actually in our production studio, which is a set build. So there's no actual rain out there. This is just a hose uh, spraying water onto the window. But what makes it exciting is that we're indoors with it. And uh, we set up this really cool tarp mechanism that led into an ice bath, which I never used because I don't know how people actually use those ice baths. They're freezing. But uh, we set that up and it was really fun. I just love including rain in these films. And uh, honestly, any chance I get, I will put rain, even if it's just a sound effect, because it just makes it very moody, and uh, I love that. And the actual shots of our tall man were really interesting to shoot because we got to play with camera angles, and I wanted to make sure that I was always as wide as possible on him to really show how tall he was. This really cool effect where it looks like he's coming out of the ceiling was achieved with some pretty simple practical effects. We had a base plate of just the ceiling, and I had our actor step behind this white fabric which is actually a projector screen but the the fabric is very stretchy so when we poke through it it looks like it's stretching and so we had two of us hold that on the sides that way they could apply pressure in the middle and that was really cool because it gave us that effect i was looking for very similar to nightmare on elm street and the second effect was also completely practical where the sheet goes from straight to then showing the tall man coming through it and we actually shot this by having a dummy wall behind there and we cut a hole in the wall that way he could fit through but start in a in an idle position and then slowly go through it. And I really like this shot because it seems almost like an illusion. I would have definitely liked to have made this film longer, which is a problem that I seem to run into a lot now. And I think some of that comes down to filming on a set because we are pretty limited on the set it's almost like you're filming in a one bedroom apartment and there's nowhere else to explore or go other than this one room and that's just one of the many pros and cons of it having the flexibility of a full house and being able to go into other rooms was definitely something I enjoyed doing about filming in our actual house 
But thankfully, we're only about 20 feet away from there, so we could always step up there if we need to. Overall, this film was pretty basic to make, and like I said, reminding me of those classic Buried Hatchet films that we used to make. I'll always love the classic traditional films that I write and that I love to make, almost like adult goosebumps, if you will. But I just feel it's time to start branching out and making something bigger and better. We have two really awesome short films that are in post-production right now and going to be going through some festivals. Unfortunately, they're not going to be able to be on YouTube for some time, but when they do, I think you guys are really going to like them and see the growth that we have in them. And overall, it feels like we're entering a whole new era of Buried Hatchet Productions, and uh, I hope you guys see that. With that, I hope you guys enjoyed this film, and I hope you guys are going to really enjoy all the new content that we're going to be showing you guys and the overall step up that we have in our quality. And although it may take longer to now produce these films, I think you guys are going to really love the outcome a lot more and be more excited. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.